it's been a while since I've visited the question of refilling the camp stove cam canisters for stoves like the MSR, the jet boil, and so on. I like to do my own. In the winter, I use the butane canisters. In the summer, I usually use an alcohol's titanium alcohol stove. The trouble with using these in the winter is butane doesn't work well in cold climates if it's pure butane. So you'll see canisters like these are what's called the all-season fuel blend. And they have a combination of butane, uh, I think N-butane, isobutane, and then some propane mixed in with them normally. However, a lot of research has been done by a few people from an esoteric clan of users and I think a fellow by the name of Roger Caffin published some tables and found that you can get the equivalent results by a proper mixture of, I believe it is, uh, what is in these canisters here? Is it N-butane or isobutane? Um, anyway, you can use the cheaper butane that comes in these Asian stoves and uh, mix it with propane and you've got your winter mix. But you do need to measure by weight the mix you have in there because you will blow these canisters up if you were to fill them full of propane so the maximum is in the range of 20 to 30 percent that uh, you can get in these. I've gone as far as 30 percent propane when I'm dealing with temperatures between minus 20 to 30 C and then I bring up my mix to less propane when I'm somewhere between 0 and 20. So <clears throat> I think it's Roger Caffin is who you want to Google to bring up his mix amounts and then you can do your mixes depending on the climate where you're operating. So in order to do that you will need to measure its by weight in these canisters when you're doing your fuel blend. So previously there was quite a variety of lines that you needed to use in order to transfer the gas from the various sources. What I've learned over time is I much prefer to get my propane source out of one of these. So I will fill these one pound propane bottles from the 20 pound tank that I get filled up at Costco and for that I use a simple line such as this that I made up. I no longer go from a 20 pound tank into these containers to get my, let's say I was going for a 20% mix in these. So after I have filled, and I'm not going to go into doing filling the one pound bottles from the 20 pound bottles, and I'm not going to really fill any of these because I'm inside. And um, last time I blew up our mansion when I did that, she who must be obeyed wasn't happy. And so I'm going, not going to hook these up and blow up our present mansion. <clears throat> so the one pound bottle is my donor source. So I've got this bottle, this canister, which I need to fill, let's say, theoretically with uh, 20 pounds or 20 percent propane and then 80 percent butane and a cheap butane source of course is these Asian stove cartridges which cost anywhere from or let's say around two bucks where I am and uh, you can get them in most of the Asian supermarkets so that's your source and so you want to get butane from here and propane from here and move it over to here and blend it all by weight. You might have some left over in here so that'll be the source of another video and we've already covered it in previous ones but 
it's going to be based upon you'll start out by weighing your empty canister to see if there's anything left in it or you could <coughs> purge it and that's going to come down to this line you also will note for example there are simple the Koreans brought out an expensive adapter like this that allows you to connect these two containers together and then uh, what the intent of that was was you would screw it on to one such as this this container would have come out of the freezer which is the receiving one the donor container would be put previously would be set in warm water so that the pressure in it's higher and the pressure in the bottom one's lower and you would invert it and screw it on you would then open this valve here and you would equalize well not equalize you would um, transfer what was in this top container a partially full container into this partially and that's how you would amalgamate all your partially full ones and, and this little adapters fine for doing that because you're not working on weight anymore because you know you can't overdo it between these two so that little guy is fine for that however when it comes to refilling them the disadvantage of any adapter that is a direct connect between two canisters is the fact you can't really weigh while you're doing it so I prefer to be able to weigh on my scale while the gas is being transferred with a flexible line and that means then that an adapter such as this which one end goes on to the one pound bottle and then the other end ostensibly um, could connect to say an adapter like this and then you could put a container like this on um, to me is not gonna suit the way I want to do it because I want to monitor the gas when it's being transferred from one to the other so that's where the flexible line comes in and you will then be able to place your receiving canister on the scale so you can zero it out and then you put one end of your flexible line on the receiving canister and again I'm not going to screw it down all the way you would have it on your scale then you would take this adapter and you would screw it onto your flexible line and now you can place your one pound container on and then you can invert this container like so and probably even come up with some sort of a stand for it so it's inverted above here like that you can then open these valves and monitor the amount that's going in so on these smaller containers which is what I prefer to carry for day trips because they're a lot lighter when they're empty they weigh 110 grams or 3.9 ounces and what you're trying to do is fill them with up to 211 grams which makes it kind of easy for the math because you're basically putting in a hundred grams of fuel so what I'm going to want to be doing is opening this and putting 20 grams of propane in and then I want to go over and start using these to donate 80 grams of butane into this canister that then brings you to one of these adapters which then allows you to connect to the butane these Asian market butane gas by sticking it on and uh, then connecting you would then disconnect 
the adapter that goes onto your one pound bottle and connect onto this and do the same process as you did with the one pound bottle. I find that it helps to warm all these up in warm water in the sink, <clears throat> increases the pressure on them and I find it goes faster if I throw that receiver bottle in the freezer first so it, there's contraction and more room in there goes quicker. So then what do you need in order to achieve all this overall? <clears throat> Again going back to the assumption that you've got a one pound donor propane bottle and you're not working from 20 the complete kit which I think I'm just going to put together and put on our website would basically amount to a little more concise and a more affordable set of components than we used to need to use which would be this line this adapter for the one pound propane bottle and this adapter for the Asian market butane and you don't even need one of these because this flexible line achieves the same end result as this. You can connect your two containers if you want to be using those in order to consolidate them with that same flexible line as well. So that's really all you require now plus of course the scale in order to make up your winter mix canisters of butane. <clears throat> Again try googling I believe in fact I'm going to uh, I'm sitting in front of the computer right now and I'm going to see what happens if I try a Google search on uh, Roger Caffin and the first one that comes up is author at Backpacking Light and uh, if you follow through on that I'm sure that uh, you'll eventually get led into some of the information that he did and some of the research he did on using winter stoves. Oh and by the way <coughs> The whole point of this, and I'll put those links on our website as well, the whole point of this is don't forget once you've done this mix you do not use the upright style stoves. Uh, if you do that what happens is, is the 20 percent of your propane burns off first and then the butane goes back to just not coming out. So in winter when you're cooking with these you always use the stoves that are made for inverted canisters so if you do not have a winter stove such as the fire maple uh, that has the preheat tubes that will allow you to use inverted canisters then that's what you need to get when you're doing this type of a winter blend uh, upright it just what happens is when you put the propane in and you do this the propane now comes out evenly or more evenly because it is pushing the butane down to the bottom and pushing it out whereas if you do it this way all the propane just burns off the top and again that's something that um, I read uh, when I was going through Roger Kaplan's material so we're going to leave it there for this one and uh, then come back on subsequent ones with perhaps actual filling tutorials when I can go outside.
This is Ron Tessalini. Um, Mr. Tessalini, would you like to explain what you're doing right now? God only knows. <laughs>